the need. And this is all they have. Got a little lad and this little lunch. And the disciples said, but what is this with so many people? It's amazing to me because in the face of your little, when all you got is a little bit, God can take your little and do more with your little than you can. Oh, I'm telling you, in this thing, in this thing called life, y'all, in this thing called life, I, I took the liberty of getting me a little, little bag over here. This is, this is called life. Life. Somebody say life. How did I get, this is life here. This is life. And life is, at times, is kind of raggedy. This suitcase here, I've had this for a while. And then it's so raggedy that the handle broke off. And because I'm a row, <laughs> instead of me going to get another one, put a paper clip on there. Because it just, it opens and closed just the same. Y'all, y'all ain't got no stuff like that that y'all rig up. Y'all gonna look at me, y'all gonna do, let me put my suit. Y'all, y'all gonna do me like that, like y'all ain't got nothing right now. No, 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 don't sit right there. Because, yeah, yeah, no, I'm just saying, that's how you do it at the house. When you got a little couch and you know it's a little faulty, you say, no, 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 don't sit right there. Because it, it's held up with a thing and all that. But, <laughs> but life is raggedy. <laughs> and what happens in life, we just have a little bit. And so when you, when you look at life and the struggles of life, it's many layers. Many layers of life. Yeah, it's many layers. And it seems like one problem is just enough, but it's, it's more problems. Heard one writer say, the more money we got, the more problems. Y'all so saved, y'all don't know nothing. Here, listen, but there's more problems. Just as raggedy. But in this one, you see that there's something, there's something to this one because there's, there's a little. You only got a little. Somebody say, I only got a little. And it seems like when you only got a little, it seems like you got a whole lot of bills. Ain't nobody going to talk to me here. You got, you got Comcast and you got DirecTV. How you got Comcast and DirecTV? And then you talking about you ain't got no money. Because you cause they don't got the local stations. Say, listen. Then you got the mortgage. And hospital bills. Condo. I'm talking about bills. Anybody got some bills like, like, like me here? Oh, these some coupons. I need these. Hold on. Put them to the side. I need them. But, <laughs> but then, every now and then, you get you one of these. Y'all, so y'all, y'all always pay y'all bill on time. Y'all ain't never seen one of these. This is not JEA getting in the Christmas spirit. This is them telling me that you better pay this bill or you're going to be having candlelight dinner. So you get some of these sometimes where they say, hurry up and, and pay this. But all I got is a little bit. So you mean to tell me with all this, God will give me a little bit that'll help me with my lot. Yes, yes, Somebody say, what is this? This is, this is a little bit. It's just a dime. God gives you a dime. If you got a job, you got a dime. And God say, the little that I've given you is a dime out of every dollar. Y'all ain't gonna help me here. The little that I have will eliminate the lot. I ain't going there yet, I'm, but I'm coming though, because I ain't preaching a couple of weeks. I'm coming though, but I ain't going there yet. But, but you need a dime, because they need to hear me on this, because we cry about all these bills, all this stuff we got. But I promise you, if you would trust God with your little, God will take care of your, your lot. Say, so just a dime, just a dime, just a dime out of every dollar. But then there, but there's more. Somebody say, there's more. Because you got bills, and then. You got another bag. Lord, have mercy. Life is just uh, a trip, ain't it, sis? Life got all kind of little things. Because some of us ain't necessarily got no problem with no bills. Some of us have some, some health issues. Some of us are blood pressure medicine. High blood pressure. Sugar. 
Some of us have problems with our uh, legs and arthritis. Y'all ain't going to help me. Look at somebody say, you're going to get to yours in a second here. <laughs> we, life is, is full with sicknesses and diseases. And, 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 but you may tell me with all these, this long laundry list of problems that I have with my body, God still just gives me a little that can deal with all of this. Yeah. What, what, what's the little? The little, little is this right here. A little, little, little bit of oil. It's, it's nothing magical about this oil. This is only this is symbolic of the presence of God coming upon us. And the Bible says that if there's any sick among us, let them call for the elders of the church and they anoint their hands with oil and they pray the prayer of faith and they may be healed no they said they shall be healed so so life is 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 very very difficult just a little bit all that guys a little bit but we don't take the the little that we have and and put it to good use i mean i'm i'm, I'm getting on out of here y'all because y'all tired of me how many of y'all tired of me? Y'all tired of me? Can I have five more minutes? Anybody? Five minutes? Let me see if I can get five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Thank God for you here. Listen. Maybe your problem ain't with bills. Maybe your problem is not with uh, health. You got a full bill of health. But then life is a big suitcase. It has men. Don't be trying to peep in here. I'm getting to it. I'm trying to look. See, you're trying to scoot. I'm trying to scoot up to see what I got in here. I ain't only scooting up. You find out with everybody else. <laughs> life <laughs> has many things. Maybe you're dealing with a, a, a messed up marriage. Oh I, that ain't yours. Okay. Uh -uh. Then maybe you. You ain't married, but you, you, you single and silly. Y'all ain't gonna help me. Look at somebody say, why that short man talking about you like that? He don't even know you. Man, he telling you out like that. Single and silly. Here, here, how you, <laughs> maybe that ain't your, that ain't, that ain't you. you. You, you ain't single or silly. Maybe you do got a boo. But you got a couple of them. That's what your problem is. You got a side chick, you know. <laughs> You got an extra. Okay, well, maybe you don't bother nobody. Maybe you just sit home and, and do your dirt. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe, you, maybe, you, maybe you hub it out. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. Maybe you just got your, your you know, easy access. And maybe, I don't know, you like staying up watching Catch the Taxi Cab Confessions. I don't, I don't know what your... What's your problem? I ain't never, somebody told me about it. I don't know nothing about that, so. But maybe, maybe, maybe you, you've been dealing with some stuff. I'm, I'm talking about life. You know, life has a way of having all kind of, all kind of things here. And maybe it, it's rough. Maybe somebody touched you inappropriately. Maybe somebody bothered you. Maybe, maybe that ain't your thing. Maybe you on the other side. Maybe, maybe you're a dude and you, and you like other dudes. And this is what you feel like life is giving you. And because of that, then you got other struggles and mental abuse. And people have bothered you mentally and told you what you can't do and, and who you can't do and what this, what you can't become. And then, then, you, then you're laying and playing with people that you're not married to. If you don't have a ring on, it's called fornication. This is one of the dirty words in the church. We can't say this no more. Uh, this is like, this is a in the church. No, fornication is still a word the way you're having sex with somebody who's not your wife. Somebody said, I ain't coming back to this church. I thought this church was alright, but now he talking about fornication. Dog, he blowing my high. No, I'm going to talk to you here because you got so many other things and lust and, and gambling. Sipping on the scissor, the alcohol. You blaming everything on the ah, 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 ah. You blaming everything. Maybe your problem ain't that bottom. Maybe you just like them Newport shorts in a box. I don't know. Alright, you don't like that either? Alright. Lesbianism. You're a girl and you like other women. But life has so many problems, Bernard. So many things that we deal with. So many things on our table. So many things on our plate. We deal with so many. And some of it is legitimately not our fault. Maybe we were born in situations or we were born in houses and then somebody did something to us or somebody did that. So what are you supposed to do? when you're just dealing with life. Many problems. You would think as many problems as you would have, 
you have that many answers. But can I tell you that there's, there's only one answer that'll deal with everything life throws your way. There, 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 it, the answer is Jesus. There, there's only one thing, there's one solution to every problem. I, I don't know what you're dealing with and I don't know what it is that's going on in your life, but I can tell you that the one answer that is constant is that Jesus is the answer. Look at somebody say, Jesus is the answer. Look at somebody say, Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. I, I, the Bible said they brought, they brought this young boy and the two fish and the five loaves and Jesus took the two fish and the five loaves and he gave God thanks for the fish and he gave God thanks for the little bit and what I got to learn to do is to stop complaining about what I don't have and tell God thank you for what I do have God I got all these problems I got all this mess I'm dealing with but God I'm thank you that you gave me your word and if I got your word God I got everything that I need I might be dealing with all of this and I might be dealing with all these bills I got all this pain in my body but God I'm so grateful look at somebody and say you're grateful I'm grateful because I got everything I need because Jesus is the answer I don't know what your problem is but can I tell you that Jesus is the answer the Bible said that they brought this thing to Jesus and the Bible says that he gave thanks so you got to learn how to have unrestricted gratefulness y'all not gonna help me preach it here they brought the two fish and the five loaves and Jesus took what he had and he told the Lord thank you for what I have he told the Lord thank you for the little bit that I have I know you ain't got the job that you want but can you tell God thank you for the job you got I know you don't got all the money that you need but can you tell God thank you for what you got I know you got pain all in your body but can you have unrestricted gratefulness I heard David say I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth if you want to know what the answer is you got to learn how to give God some praise whether you're on the mountain top you got to give God some praise whether you're in the valley low you got to learn how to give God praise whether you're married or you're single you got to give God some praise you got to give him some glory you got to have unrestricted gratefulness and stop saying God you've done me a disservice you got to stay stop saying God you messed me up and say Lord I thank you for what you've done but I thank you for where I'm at so Jesus took the two fish he took the two fish and the five loaves and he gave God thanks for what he had and when he gave God thanks for what he had the Bible says that he gave them some instructions and every now and then you got to hear the word of God and you got to listen to the instruction and God gave them some uncommon some uncommon instructions God gave them some uncommon instructions God told them to sit down to sit where they were what you mean you're telling me to sit down I don't have no money and you telling me not to get a third and a fourth job what you telling me to sit down for God you're telling me I'm lonely and you're telling me to sit down and to get lost in your word but God you don't understand God these cold showers not cold no more but God you don't understand I get lonely sometimes but God will give you some uncommon instruction the way he'll tell you to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding but acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path God told them to sit down to sit right where they were so he can use what he had and God will tell you sometimes to do some things you don't understand God I don't want to forgive them no more they hurt me so bad you don't know what they said to me you don't know what they did to me but God will tell you to keep on loving them he'll tell you to keep on forgiving them he'll tell you to keep on trusting them boy I feel like preaching today God will give you some uncommon instruction and when you take the uncommon instruction when you learn how to give God what you got then God he'll take the two fish the Bible says the Bible says in this verse this modern technology the iPad messing me up but verse number 12 says when they were filled 
all the disciples they were filled with the people and the Bible said they gather up the leftovers see they didn't have enough to feed anybody they didn't have enough to give anybody anything but when they gave God unrestricted praise when they took God uncommon favor when they took God uncommon instructions then the Bible says they had an unhindered overflow boy y'all don't know how to get happy I said they had an unhindered overflow God took their little and God blessed their little and God gave them much y'all not gonna help me preaching here God will give you an unhindered overflow see you want God to move on your behalf you want God to do something for you you got to learn how to let God how to let God take your little and let God bless your little and you'll have an unhindered overflow you don't know where the money coming from but people keep on blessing you you ain't got no business get that job but God will bless you he'll open up the windows of heaven and pull you out of blessing that you don't got room to receive Lord I'm looking for an unhindered overflow God I want you to open up the floodgate and send me an overflow I want the overflow on me the way it'll spill over my job I want you to overflow me the way it'll spill over my children I want you to overflow me it'll spill over my grandchildren y'all not helping me preach I'm looking for an overflow the way it'll spill over my parents I'm looking for an overflow the way it'll be a residual anointing Boy, I feel pretty good this morning because I'm looking for an overflow. Lord, you can open up the window. God, because I'm looking for you to take my little and take care of my need. I heard Paul say, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. You're looking for God to give you a publisher clearinghouse check. But no, no, no. He'll give you what you need. I heard I heard David say he say many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord he will boy I feel like preaching he will he'll deliver you out of them all you got many problems but I got one deliverer Jesus is the answer political problems Jesus is the answer racial divide Jesus is the answer ain't got no money Jesus is the answer pain in my body Jesus is the answer somebody ought to jump on your feet put your hands together and give him a praise